Oh, Dan and Jackie's story starts really more than 30 years ago when they met in high school. Now, fast forward to today, Jackie says she has reservations about taking her husband's kidney, but Dan says for him, it's a no-brainer. I have a chance to help my wife live a life full, free of, you know, the, the pain and the suffering that's seen her. Dan and Jackie Robinson are a perfect match, literally. Diagnosed with kidney disease more than 20 years ago, Jackie is in need of a transplant. And after testing, Dan will be her donor. I was in shock because um, you just don't, the, the chances of, again, being in the same household and being a non family, non, you know, blood related uh, person is really low. But their story isn't simple. Growing up in Alabama, the couple met their junior and senior year of high school through a friend. I had never had a boyfriend. They said, you've never had a boyfriend? She said, I've got somebody for you. They dated and later got engaged. That's when Jackie went to the doctor. My mom told me, she said, um, since you're getting married in a few months, we need to take you to the health department. You need to go ahead and get on birth control pills. So I said, okay, so she took me. Uh, I had no symptoms. You know, kidney disease is a silent disease. Most people do not know they have it. Dan had been stationed at Fort Ord. The plan was for Jackie to meet him in California, but things changed when Dan got cold feet. I had my wedding dress, the invitations. Yeah. Yeah, ended up backing out, thinking I was 19. I just, I wasn't 100% certain of what I wanted to do. and. You know, I, I'm all about, uh, and I believe things happen for a reason. The two split and went on to make families of their own. And more than 20 years later, after both getting divorced, they reconnected through Facebook and then a call. And when I heard his voice for the first time after 20 something years, I literally had to catch myself. I'm sorry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I went weak in the knees and uh, I couldn't believe it was him. And um, it was at that moment. I knew I'd never stop loving him. Jackie finally made her move to California and the two got married, combining their families together. After starting dialysis, the next step for Jackie is the transplant. You have his heart and now you'll have his kidney. The couple's procedure will be done at UC Davis Medical Center. They say they expect the surgery to happen around September or October of this year, Christopher. All right, thank you, mm -hmm. Kyla. If you are interested in more information, or becoming a kidney donor, you can head over to our website at ksbw.com.